lot. Now, I want to go back to that drawing tablet thing. So you use a drawing tablet as your main pointer device. What uh, drawing tablet do you have? I have a Wacom, um, one of the simple basic model ones. Is it, is it this one? <laughs> No, it's not. Wait. It's not that one. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, um, I don't remember the model number. Yeah, no, I know the one you're talking about. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I do know what the tablet is. I'm just blanking on the name. Yeah. So. Intos, maybe something? Mm. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah Intos, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wacom into a... Yes, that is what it is. So what is that experience like? Because I, I use a drawing tablet primarily for like editing my thumbnails, but I don't use it as my main input device. But... Yeah. So... Uh... So uh, when it actually was uh, a co coincidence as well for me because my mouse that I had both uh, for my um, setup wasn't work working properly. It was always missing output and I had a drawing tablet and I was just, okay, just for now I'll use that. And I enjoyed it a lot actually. So uh, it, has some, it has some benefits, which are the obvious one. It's much easier and quicker to actually go around, click stuff, uh, the mouse you actually have to so I, I that is the good side it does have some uh, downsides as well um, the big one is scrolling you're unable to scroll so um, sometimes I just use the uh, arrow keys mm -hmm. but eventually I did surrender and I both this little keyboard which does have an integrated touchpad of course, I click the touchpad and something happens on my screen. So let's not do that again. <laughs> but now it's back to normal. But as I was saying, it has a little touchpad so I can actually scroll. And um, the other uh, issue is that I do need to pick up the pen to interact with the drawing tablet. Sometimes I'm just using the keyboard and I don't want to have the pen in my hand. So I just quickly use the small touchpad for very small movements. It's fine, but... When I actually have to work, I always use a drawing tablet because it's so much faster. So it does have some issues. If it was up to me, I would use either one of those drawing tablets with a touch, uh, touch, um, touch pad-like surface, I don't know, which are able to get both the pen input and the finger one. But I don't think the driver is anything close to usable. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have gestures and such. And uh, otherwise, I would like to have something like the Steam Deck, the little touchpad, but on my keyboard to mm. scroll. But again, nobody has done that yet. And uh, as the very last option, I'm looking into buying another keyboard that has one of those uh, things that you can rotate. Mm. Uh, very niche keyboards, but if I, I, have if I can map that wheel. to scrolling. <laughs> yes, like, like that, but for scrolling, you know? Yeah. So this is the overview of issues and benefits of the drawing tablet, in my opinion. Do you have multiple monitors that you use? No, I have one monitor, okay. but that monitor is 4K and it's 42 inches. It's like big. Okay. Uh, so it, it's basically like having four uh, full HD monitors. So I, I just need one big one. Because I was going to ask how you dealt with, like, the tablet across, like, a three wide, like, two or three wide display. That, that's that's part, a big part of the reason why I wouldn't use it like that. Because I don't just have, I, so I have, I have a three monitor set up, but I also have a vertical monitor. So that would completely throw the tablet out. It just would not be usable on that other display. Um, I, th I think it would, uh, in theory, if I recall correctly... There's an option to map the um, drawing tablet area so that the bottom left is the bottom left of your um, monitor. The top left is the top left of your top left monitor. Mm. So you can actually <clears throat> use all of them and some areas of the drawing tablets are like that. Well, the problem I'm not with, sure. I know. <clears throat> that you can do that. The problem is if you stretch out the drawing tablet to more space, you have less fine input. 
like because a, a smaller movement is going to mean more space. So it's going to be a lot. Like you probably wouldn't be able to click on small icons like that. Yeah. Well, the fundamental issue is wanting a super uh, wide setup. Like you shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Three to two is the perfect aspect aspect ratio. With your with your um. 42 inch display or whatever you said 4k 42 inch yes yes i guess you don't have to deal with scaling then no yeah okay. no i, I never <laughs> i never use scaling in any of my device devices yeah because 4k normally is 4k you can if you've got good eyesight you can use it but you're probably going to want to scale on anything smaller than like a 30 inch display really before this monitor i had uh this one just give me a sec okay this one is a very nice 4k 28 i think inches uh, monitor okay and i still use it without any scaling because i never use scaling you got some good eyes. But of course, eyesight was getting pretty bad very quickly. So I, for the next monitor, I thought, you know what? Let's go with a 42 inches one. That's going to be better. And it yeah. is. <laughs> it's going to be better for sure. I've never even considered using a, like, what, you, what even is that monitor? Like, is, is that one of like NVIDIA's like BFG displays? Like, what is that? But it's it's a very stan standard uh, Samsung uh, Q something. Does, uh, does yeah, yeah, no, actually, it's not Q. Wait, I didn't know Samsung made monitors that big. I've got it here. I can just read the model. I think U twenty eight R. No, the the big one you have, not the twenty eight inch one. Ah, the big one. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Used. No, the Did big one is a that? very nice. Um, uh, sorry. Did you just throw that monitor? Yes, it's broken, don't worry. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine. <laughs> yes, I, otherwise I wouldn't have bought a okay, new one. No, th enough. this big one is the HP um, Z43 uh, monitor, I think. HP because it's 43 inches. HP Z43. Okay, I found it. It even supports like multiple inputs at the same time, so I can split mm. the monitor and have like HDMI on one, one side and USB C on the other side. Super nice. Mm. And it also acts as a USB hub, so I just connect the computer and everything switches. All of my like audio, keyboard, drawing tablet, microphone, everything switches between devices. As soon as I change what's connected to the monitor, it's awesome. One morning, I like take my Steam Deck, I plug in my Steam Deck and everything works out of the box. It's awesome. I, I love this setup. I'm going to send you the marketing photo I just found on Amazon for it. Okay, but I got to find the chat, which is going to be... Ah, uh, yes. Yes, well, uh, <laughs> it's not... Yeah. <laughs> I think it's uh, marketed towards, you know, business people yeah, who do like yeah. uh, stocks and such but you know i'm, 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 I'm so it's sort of like, like it. it it's sort of like a boardroom display i guess that's the way they generally seem to be marketing it because who puts a 42 inch <laughs> monitor on their desk i to guess how much i paid for it i wouldn't have a clue because i'm seeing them go from anywhere from like 600 dollars to 1400 dollars. i don't know what this thing is priced at yeah, uh, I think it was originally priced towards uh, six to seven hundred euros, mm -hmm. but uh, I actually managed to find one uh, used but in perfect condition for three hundred. So that was a great deal, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. Jeez. Do you and have it? Funnily enough, <laughs> the 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 guy had uh, two of them, and I just bought one, obviously. And he was like, can you also buy the other one, please? And I was like, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> like, one is too big for my room already. I wouldn't know how to put the other one. <laughs> um, use it for, uh, I don't know, replace your TV. <laughs> it's big enough for it. Yeah, no, but it was actually awesome that um, <clears throat> this monitor, the 28 one, uh, the smaller one, 
it was the one I was using in Sweden mm-hmm. because I was in Sweden. And then in uh, June, I went back to Italy and I actually, I didn't know how to ship the monitor from Sweden to Italy. I couldn't sell it. So I actually tried to put it in the bag with me on the plane towards Italy. <laughs> and as you can guess, it didn't quite work out. It was completely broken. And the thing is that when I got back to Italy because of staff, you know, ticket price and such, I didn't have any money left in my savings. Mm -hmm. I couldn't afford a new monitor. I was quite sad. (laughs) I didn't know what to do. So I tweeted like, hey, my monitor just broke. I don't have the money for a new one. I'm screwed. (laughs) And uh, I actually received in two days 300 euros in donations. So that was awesome from the community. I'm super happy about that. Mm -hmm. And then you bought that thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you just have it sitting on your desk or do you have an arm for it? Uh, no, it's on my desk. And I can tell you also that I bought uh, a desk with a wheels on it, which means I can move it around. I can That's nice. show you probably some more. <laughs> no, I just, ah, you I just have your camera that... behind it. Uh, yes, yes, the, the camera is banned. But I just remember that the camera is connected to the computer and if I move the desk, it's going to mess up. So mm. don't, let's I, not do that, actually. <laughs> I can also do fancy things. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's very nice. Oh. I can I... do that as well, but I don't have the button. I actually have to oh, no. do the screws. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew that if I didn't get one that was electric, I would never use it. Uh, yeah, understandable. 